and welcome to another video. So what happens when you have a longer distance to go than the displayed range on your car? So I left my car overnight uh, at the street with only like 15 miles left and the supercharger was much further than that. So when I left it said I have to go five miles and I had four miles of displayed range. So I'm driving at speed limit, driving at slower speeds just so that I can make it. Now you see there is a snowflake there. So that means that the battery is cold and that's why it's probably showing me a shorter range than actually available. Um, so let's see what happens. I think I'm going to make it there just fine, but I'm going to conserve some energy by driving slow. And God forbid I take a wrong exit <laughs> and have to drive more, so I'm being extra careful where, about where I'm going. Unfortunately, the roads here are super confusing as you just saw. There were like five exits within each, uh, within like a feet, few feet of each other and thankfully I took the right lanes. to go and display range of two miles so I think I'll make it I haven't lost energy yet although I haven't tried to accelerate fast or go at high speeds when I first started there was a notification saying that I needed to charge to reach destination but as I drove some and the battery warmed up maybe or I was driving efficiently the notification went away now it says I have one mile of charge left and 1.7 miles to go uh, it's still a cold battery so it's 59 degrees out so it really shouldn't be a particularly cold battery but overnight it was close to freezing so perhaps it just hasn't warmed up because it was sitting in a shaded spot but uh, let's keep going I'm driving speed limit I should probably drive slower but it's driving speed limit just do not hold up traffic charging needed to reach destination signs come back on. I'm gonna back off the gas a little bit and uh, or accelerate a little bit and slow down perhaps. I haven't, so as you can see now there's a bar up here that means I'm losing energy. I can't go as fast if I wanted to accelerate really fast it won't be as as robust as I would like because there's a, a restriction on how fast I can accelerate. Still have 0.9 miles to go. So when I slowed down that sign went away and I got a little bit more energy here, um, acceleration power here probably from just getting some of my charge back. I'm still driving super slow just to make sure I don't uh, use up too much energy here but I'm also timing it such that I don't have to stop for red lights. The car still doesn't feel slow I mean it feels fine like that is still a lot of acceleration power you have to your disposal it's In probably pretty rare for me to go past that so I have to so now it says zero miles if you ever get to zero miles don't get alarmed you still probably have a few miles to go so the supercharger is over here so I guess we could have taken either of the left turns, but uh, let's, let's see if it'll allow us to keep going. It would really suck if 
I'm like right outside the supercharger and we can't go anymore. But I know that past zero you can go a few miles, sometimes up to 20 miles depending on how you drive. So I knew I was safe. It's just that also the battery is cold too, so that affects it too. It's just really nerve wracking when you're, um, you know, not in your own town and you find yourself with very few miles of charge left and you have quite a while to go to get to a supercharger you can always stop at a slower charger and get a few miles just to give yourself uh, some confidence but the problem with that is you may end up with um, you may end up driving off course and what if the charger is not working because sometimes that happens then you're in more of a trouble okay so i've plugged in and this is a 120 kilowatt charger and uh, you know pretty quickly went up to the full charge speed um, and I'm sure it'll get to 150 once it warms up a little bit but uh, I'm gonna be here for a while thank you for watching like subscribe comment I'll see you in the next one